Hey everyone, welcome back to DIY Biotech and welcome to the first time to A Bioengineer Makes Kombucha. The goal of this series is to sort of give an introduction of how to do microbiology in just a casual brewing setting and sort of explore some of the methodologies that I use and maybe pass those skills on to others so that you can learn more about the microbiology of your mixed fermentations. So if you're interested in an intersection of microbiology and kefir or kombucha or probiotic foods, this is the place to be. I think this will be an interesting start to understanding the microbiology of these fermented products. So if you think you're interested in this interesting intersection of fields, make sure you like and subscribe to follow along. I'll be releasing a new video in this series every week. And if people really like it, I may add on to the series. But for now, the next video is going to cover pouring agar plates. So these are agar petri dishes that you can grow your microorganisms on. They serve as a way to select for specific microorganisms and to visually inspect certain microorganisms so you can tell different ones apart. In the third video, I'll go into the specifics of how to actually get the microorganisms onto these plates then study them and potentially separate them for different uses in your fermentations. I'll go into actually getting the microorganisms from your probiotic or mixed fermentation or beer or whatever you may have onto the plate initially. I'll go into these sort of patch plates so you can have sort of a library of the different microorganisms that you want to keep or use in the future. And then I'll go into this streak plating so you can isolate individual colonies of your microorganism to use them in your fermentations. If people are interested, I'd love to make a fourth video on actually using the microorganisms. So once you isolate them onto the Petri dish, you know, you can potentially pick and choose what yeast or bacteria you want to use in your fermentation. And maybe more importantly, you can choose when you use them in your fermentation. So for example, you could imagine that you have a container that you wish to ferment and first you want to ferment with yeast in order to get that alcoholic fermentation and then later in the process you want to add an acid producing bacteria that will break down that ethanol into acids. Maybe in another example you want to ferment with yeast first, sterilize the culture, then ferment with the bacteria and then you can potentially have a product with probiotic microorganisms but without the yeast that cause alcohol production uh, later on in the bottling process. Or maybe you want to do something funky like use a kefir yeast and a kombucha acetobacter species and mix them together and see what happens. So if people do end up wanting this fourth video, hopefully I can have some cool experimentation going on there uh, and we can potentially learn something together. I'll be leaving additional resources in the description of these videos so that you can take a look for yourself. There's other videos and articles that you can read online on the specifics of these processes. So anyway, if you want to follow along, again, just like and subscribe, and I'll be releasing a new video every week for the next couple of weeks. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.